What's up, real world? Twisted luck. Thanks for being here. Hope everybody's good. I appreciate everybody. So, every time I cover a police incident, not every time, but a lot of the times I'm like, this is the worst I've seen. And there's always something to top it, right? There's always another that comes along somehow to top it. This one is unbelievable. This is just, it's, uh, it, well, it's unbelievable. This happened in San Antonio, Texas. And as you know, I am not a, I am not pro-police and I am not anti-police. And I like to be very critical and analytical of police and uh, police incidents. And those of you who've been here for a while, you know how and why I can do that and what makes me know what I'm talking about, right? Um, if I say a cop is an idiot, 100% he is an idiot, right? It's, it's not an opinion, it's a fact. It's a fact. Um, but I like to, you know, I'll, I'll highlight good things and I'll highlight bad things. And this is a very, very bad thing. Um, I, and I don't even understand how it could have happened. So in San Antonio, Texas, and I was going to show you the video here, but um, YouTube does not like for some reason when I put police videos in with these stories they don't like it some of you have probably seen it some of you maybe haven't heard of it yet I will uh, I'll, I'll try to put a link in the description so you can see the video and I'll definitely put a link so you can read the story but what happened uh, police were called in San Antonio Texas to some sort of a little petty disturbance at a McDonald's Going on down to the McDonald's. Somebody ordered them an angry meal. Supposed to be home with a happy meal, but somebody got hangry. So goes down to the McDonald's and he's doing his thing, whatever that is. He sees a car parked in the parking lot. Unrelated to the reason he's there, right? He sees this maroon vehicle over there parked in the parking lot. It's running. Why is it running? Because there's a 17-year-old boy and a teenage girl sitting in it, eating a cheeseburger, having a happy meal right they have no part of the disturbance they have nothing to do with it whatever but the cop sees that car and he says to himself that looks like a car that fled from me yesterday when i tried to pull it over for a uh, bad for a bad license plate i believe they said a license plate came back not assigned to the vehicle now this is not always a sign of anything that often is a mistake right it's a mistake and, and other times it is. They put it on a stolen vehicle or they, or whatever. Sometimes people are victimized. Their tag is swapped and they don't even know it, right? But whatever the reason is, it's something petty, right? The tag doesn't come back. That's all they know. He tries to pull it over. The car flees. It takes off and runs. They don't chase it, I guess, and it gets away, right? Is what it is. Now, again, they don't know anything about that vehicle. They don't know if it was stolen. They don't know, and this is important no idea who was driving the vehicle right not a clue not a single clue so now the next day at the at the mcdonald's he sees this car and it looks similar to the car that ran from him keep that in mind he's not saying that is the vehicle that's the vehicle he's saying that looks like the same car also keep in mind this was the day prior right this was the day prior so even if he was sure that was the vehicle it's absolutely impossible to know who's driving it and who was driving it yesterday because he didn't know then. So keep that in mind. No Day before, no idea who was driving, no idea if it's even the same vehicle. Now the cop has several choices right now. There are several things he can do, different paths he could take. Choose your own ending. You remember those books, right? Choose which one you want to take. And it doesn't take any specialized training to figure this out only logic basic common sense that's it and honestly most of police work it doesn't take specialized training no matter what people try to tell you it doesn't take specialized training it doesn't take all these it only takes logic and common sense and that's why you see so many bad cops because you can't teach logic and common sense you either have it or you don't right so his choices are number one well handle your business focus come on stay stay on task work on what you're there to work on right? You're here to work on one thing and you're like, squirrel, that looks like something unrelated that really affects nothing and is a no big deal. So I think I'm going to drop everything and go over here. No. So probably the, the, the best bet, just, just focus on what you're doing, right? Now, 
if you absolutely feel like you have to take some kind of action over here, so you again have more choices. You could have somebody tell somebody on the radio, hey, I think maybe this is this looks like the car that took off for me last night. Maybe you come around and wait for it to leave, and uh, if there's probable cause to stop it, maybe you could stop it, right? Or something. Don't make up probable cause, but that happens a lot of times. Believe it or not, even though a lot of people don't want to believe it, I assure you, it happens. Or you could finish your business and, and, and walk up to the car. Maybe walk up to the car. Hey, how you doing? Walk up to the windshield where they could see you or something, you know. How you doing? Can I talk to you for a second? Can I, can I just talk to you for a second? Again, having no idea this car has anything to do with anything, right? And there's some other options. We could think about it, and there's some other things. Uh, he could just be like, hmm, oh well, is what it is, right? Better luck next time, since I don't even know if this vehicle has anything to do with yesterday, and I'm doing something else. Oh well, you know, I you shouldn't have hurt feelings over what happened yesterday, because it didn't affect you, or really anyone else. It was, honestly, it was petty. Could it have been something else? Yeah, maybe, but nobody knows that, so what are you chasing? So, he doesn't do any of these logical things. What he chooses to do, he being this moron cop, he decides to just walk right up to the car and always have your doors locked, always lock your doors. Even if you're a male, even if you're armed all the time, always lock your doors. I try to make it a habit before I even start the car, lock your doors, right? And you, you wouldn't think you have to protect yourself from police, but in some cases, yeah, even that. So his doors are unlocked, the vehicle's running, and the cop just walks up, jerks open the, the driver's door. Hey, get out of the car, get out of the car. Now, he doesn't identify himself as police either, right? So, and you see the kid there, what's he doing? He's eating a cheeseburger. There's a cheeseburger in his hand. He's got a mouthful of cheeseburger that he's chewing. As his stunned face looks at this cop, and you can see in his face, he's like, what the hell is going on here, right? Now, I don't know if he knows that was a, if he knew that was a cop or not. It, 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 it's stunning when you're sitting there with a girl, right? And you're just hanging out, especially you're 17, right? You're distracted. You're probably trying to show off or whatever, you know, in your cheeseburger eating skills or something. I don't know, right? Very, very fancy. He took you out for a happy meal and he's trying to, you know, he's trying to, he's trying to do his thing. Suddenly the door jerks open. Somebody's yelling at you, get out of the car. Hey, get out of the car. Did not identify himself. So fight or flight, right? And in that case, he's kind of in a bad position for the fight and flight. So he grabs, he throws it in reverse, starts to back up. Now, the idiot cop who walked up to a running car for no reason and opened the door illegally and put himself between the door and the moving car uh, got nicked just a little bit, a little, little tap on his arm as the car backed up. Didn't knock him down, didn't even appear to move him or anything. It just probably grazed the side of his shirt, right? As it backed up, this kid's terrified. Instantly, this cop lights him up with five rounds. Pew, 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 pew. And the car kind of stops for a second. He, you know, he's trying to get it and drive. You know, he's not thinking right. It's in reverse and bullets are coming. I don't know, someone just tried to carjack me or something come in the car takes him a second to get in the drive as he does right the cop might claim hey he hit me with the door no you're an idiot you hit yourself with the door and you had no reason to be there and you're a moron for putting yourself in that position so you're a moron in all sorts of ways but even if he wants to claim he hit me with that door i was in danger the danger is long over now right the car is far away from you now it's fleeing he decides to put five more rounds into that car at a 17 year old male and and a, a young girl in that car he decides to throw even more rounds at them uh the car takes off it stops i believe it crashes somewhere or stops just shortly down the road and the driver has got more holes in him than he had when he woke up and it's not good currently at the time i'm making this video he's on life support he's not doing very well uh, the cop has been immediately fired. His department was like, you're an idiot. We don't want anything to do with you. Or, you know, right away that they started bashing him and they fired him right away. And they, they've charged him with aggravated assault. I think those charges maybe should be up, upgraded and there should be some more charges. 
but that's where it stands right now. There is no way a reasonable, per reasonable person in the position of that cop, that former cop, uh, could say that they were fear in fear for their life or their safety. It's not. It's just not possible. And when you put your, and if you if he's afraid because of the door that nicked him, that's he put himself in that position. You have to be smart enough to not do that, right? Especially if you're going to have a job where you are going to be pointing those things at people, um, or even the possibility. Uh, he did that himself. Now, let's turn that situation around. Let's say that the cop was sitting in his car eating a cheeseburger in the McDonald's parking lot. And a stranger walked up to him and uh, opened his door and essentially just started pew, 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 pewing him, right? Let's just say it was, it was a similar situation. So he pew, pewed him and he even approached this kid for no reason. He had no legal or valid reason to do what he did. None. The law is not on his side. Um, but let's say that a person just walked up and pew pewed a cop. Do you think that they would be charged with uh, aggravated assault? Or do you think there would be a list of charges? There would be improper discharge of a firearm, attempted murder, um, Oh, shoot, shooting, there's another felony charge too, um, shooting into a, an occupied vehicle, right? That's another charge. Where are all these charges? How come these charges aren't stacking up? Maybe they will later, but my point is, initially the police would stack that suspect with so many charges. So why is it not the same? Why is it not the same? Because this, I mean, it, 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 this was just mind blowing amazing. There's nothing I've been able to come up with in my mind that I, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to think. I'm like, well, maybe, what could he have been thinking? What what could make him think that pew, pew, pew is the right response? What could it be? I was trying to find it. I was trying to find it because I want to, you know, I want to think of everything. And it's just not there. It's not there. He shouldn't be doing that job. You know, he, he probably shouldn't even be making that cheeseburger at the McDonald's because... God knows you ask for no pickles. He's giving you pickles. He's that type of person, I believe. Um, but where are those charges? Why is it a different standard? Because you know, had that been a citizen versus a cop? So, so many charges, endless charges. And right now he's facing aggravated assault, which is very, very light. Um, don't know if the kid's gonna make it or not. Luckily, the girl who was sitting in the passenger seat enjoying her cheeseburger or happy meal of chicken nuggets, whatever it was, uh, she was, thank God, somehow the cop didn't manage to hit her too, um, which is odd because he was shooting from like the driver's side directly in and then from, you know, the rear towards the driver's side. So uh, she got lucky. Someone was looking over her that day. But uh, let me know what you think. Uh, some of you probably heard of this story, some maybe have not. I'll put some links in the description, like I said, where you can read the, uh, the alleged version of the events and, um, and maybe see the video. The video is not very long, it just shows exactly what I described. The cop walking up, the kid's eating his cheeseburger, tries to get away, pew pew pew. And like I said, you can't even, you have to assume that that kid didn't even know it was the police, right? Someone opens your door, bright lights, hey, get out of the car. I'm thinking, you know, carjacking. I'm thinking some robbery, something. That's what my mind would be thinking, right? Who knows? You know, it could have been a person that might start pew pew himself. And, you know, maybe he would have been justified. And how would they have looked at, looked at that, right? Versus a cop. But anyway, I'll step down. Let me know what you think. Share your thoughts. I've got uh, some more police disgustingness I want to talk about. This one's more locally. But uh, we'll do that in another video so we don't go too long. So share your thoughts on this one. We'll be back with more police disgustingness. And um, and and then, you know, we'll, we'll do what we do. I appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Twist of Love Truth. I'll see you soon.